Alright guys, these are the chocolate baby bells. Uh, these are the sweeter of the bell peppers and they are just like fun size. And these are in different stages so I'm going to, if they got a little green, I'll just let them sit on the windowsill for a day or two until they're all the same color. But look how cute these are. So what I'm, we're going to do is um, Donald's going to go ahead and cut them up. And then we're going to dehydrate them. And then we're going to save the seeds so we can grow them again for next year. Um, I have to say that for somebody like me who gets, I get heartburn from like the red, the green, and the yellow peppers. These actually don't give me heartburn, but they do give me gas. <laughs> so, if you have a sensitive stomach, you will be a little gassier. Um, you can always take like Beano or Gas, uh, you know, Gas X to solve that problem. But yeah, I just wanted to forewarn you. So Donald is going to cut them up, and then we're going to show you how we dehydrate them. All right, guys. Today we're going to show you how we cut up and dehydrate the chocolate baby bell peppers. Um, the way we preserve them so that we can keep them and enjoy them all year is uh, we dehydrate them and, uh, and then that way we can put them in our food. So you cut the top off first like yep. a pumpkin. I cut the top like a pumpkin. And I cut it in half and then in quarters. Show you the center here. And then I just come right over here and I pull the seeds off of it. We like to save the seeds for next year. And we really enjoy these peppers. So we're going to be growing even more next year. We try to save all the seeds of the stuff we like that we can. Some seeds are easier to save than others. These are pretty easy to do. We let them dry out. And then these are real easy just to break apart once they're dry. Alright, now once I get them all de-seeded. I try to cut them in approximately the same size pieces. That way they dehydrate. At the same speed. Now you don't have to have it exactly. But as close as you can is better. dehydrating tray
it's really that simple. All right, we're gonna finish up and do the last couple of ones here. All right, they are all done. So now I'm gonna put them in my dehydrator for 125. Um, it can take up to eight hours. So I normally do it at night, right before I go to bed. And then that way, when I wake up in the morning, I can check on them. All right, guys, and here is what the chocolate baby bell peppers look like after they've been dehydrated overnight. They're gonna be crispy and kind of leathery. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these, I'm going to put them into a, uh, my little blender, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it into powder. Okay, as um, this is just an old bullet machine that I use one of the cups. There's all the peppers, and I use this fine grinder. We're going to grind it up. I made Donald a little like a uh, jar to hold everything in and I put a little label on it that way it's easy to take off um, but there it is after it's been ground up here's what I've done before and that's it and the lid on it And then I will um, set it over there with the rest of Donald's spices. And that is how easy it is to make your own seasoning. Okay, now here are the seeds all dried up from the, um, the chocolate baby bells. And the tops, what I do is I just kind of roll my fingers in between the... The little stems in between my fingers and it'll get the rest of the seeds off see how there's still seeds on there I just roll it all comes off and then I'll just pick through the red stuff and get rid of it and I'll put in a ziploc bag and mark it and save it for next year so we can grow more all right there we have it all the seeds in a baggie and we will save them for next year